a very good morning to all. I'm uh, Mr. Kwa Wei Boon uh, on behalf of my group uh, for Azira Binti Aziz and uh, Rosalind Anakov. I would like to present a research paper entitled Hospitality TVET Student Attitude and Satisfaction Toward Simulation Based Learning. Okay, uh, for the introduction, now so the educators are advised to integrate technology and innovate in student teaching skill to meet the educational needs for the student learning experience as stated in the Malaysia Education Plan 2015 until 2025 higher education. Uh, various teaching pe uh, pedagogies has been uh, used in a hospitality program in previous studies such as a business simulation, hotel simulation, second life as a 3D uh, virtual world, in a hospital teaching and uh, active learning to achieve specific course objective. Okay. Uh, for the problem statement, uh, there are a few problems that we uh, able to identify. The first problem is the use of traditional role play is ineffective uh, in teaching and learning for front office subject. Uh, the second problem is the second test tenses or environment in a lecturer that do not reflect the actual or in conducive uh, work situation and the third one is uh, lack of teaching aids in the hospitality classes okay uh, for the research objective okay the first one is to identify the attitude of student using thought as an uh, innovative teaching tools for far off subject the second one is to identify the satisfaction of uh, students using thought as an uh, innovative teaching tools for far off subject and the third one is to determine the relationship between attitude and uh, student satisfaction uh, using thought as an innovative teaching tool for our office subject. Okay, for the literature review, uh, the first one is uh, unconducive of the learning environment. Okay, the sustainability of the learning environment is one of the determined uh, in the success of learning process in the room. Okay, another one is uh, lack of teaching aid. The lack of tool and uh, materials to do practical work will result in disrupt teaching and learning process. And the third one is simulation-based learning. The purpose of simulation method is to improve student ability and certain uh, concept in problem solving. Okay, front of piece uh, task simulator. There are four uh, idea combined into one. The first one is the WordPress Class 3D port version. Uh, this includes the virtual guest room allows students to move the position of view and move movement in the virtual guest room. Students will see every item in the guest room and this will make it easier for students to understand and explain the item or facility to guests. The second one is a photo kit 2-in-1 for beginners, uh, second version. Uh, has two versions, namely manual, laminate, or online. Uh, allow students to practice the front office system stimulously with reservation to inch out and guest billing process. The third one is front office uh, simulation task, second version. It's a task card to create real world working uh, environment situation that a uh, student will face for scope of duty of reservation club, receptionist, casual concepts, domain, and bellman. The fourth one is front office star simulator kits. These kits include the manual of using this simulator, specimen money, room key, card, bill, receipt, and others to make it easier for lecturer and student to use it. Okay, now we go for the methodology. Okay, student. Uh, in the third semester will be selected uh, by using purposive sampling. Uh, there are a total of 22 students uh, selected in this study and uh, we will use a uh, Likert scale, okay, five-point Likert scale for uh, this study. Instrument have been, has been adapted and modified uh, from previous study, uh, David 1989 and Fred and Han 2016. And we will use uh, descriptive analysis and uh, peer 
correlation analysis for this uh, data analysis. The first table shows that a uh, descriptive analysis of hospitality Tibet student attitude toward the use of thought. Okay, in total, overall mean score shows that uh, is a positive, whereby uh, the mean is 4.66. Okay, item four so the mean 4.73, which is part of its task simulator, is easy to use, and uh, there are three item. Uh, so the same mean 4.68. Item two, front office task simulator increased my focus on learning compared to traditional learning. Item three, front office task simulator can maintain my learning performance. Item seven, front office task simulator provide useful guide in performing tasks. For the second table, uh, shows that a descriptive analysis of hospitality TVS students satisfaction in using for in overall mean score, show that uh, the mean is high, 4.76. Uh, there are four items showing the same mean score, uh, that is 4.86. Item 8, front office task simulator is a practical method for understanding hotel operation. Item 9, using front office task simulator gives me an understanding of the interdependent relationship between departments. Item 12, scenario-based simulation is an effective learning experience. Item 17, front office task simulator provide a real learning environment uh, experience. Table 3 shows peer correlation between attitude and student satisfaction with usage of thought. Uh, table 3 shows that there is a significant relationship between uh, attitude and student satisfaction. This indicates that student attitude will affect student satisfaction with the use of thought. Okay, for the discussion, uh, the result shows that the overall mean for student attitude is at a high level. This is because thought can provide real learning experience. Thought is easy to use. Thought can uh, increase my focus on learning compared to traditional learning, and uh, thought can maintain a uh, learning performance. Uh, the result of this study also show that the overall mean for student satisfaction is at a high level of uh, 4.76. Uh, this is because thought is a practical method for understanding hotel operation. The use of thought can give students an understanding of interdependence between departments. Scenario based on simulation in thought is effective learning experience and thought can provide a real learning uh, experience okay and the result also show that there is a significant relationship between student and attitude and student satisfaction this finding indicate that student attitude will affect student satisfaction with the use of thought when student attitude are at a high level then student satisfaction will also increase this finding show that the use of thought as an innovative teaching tools in teaching and learning among hospitality students especially in the field of front office is appropriate for the conclusion overall this study showed that student attitude and satisfaction of using the thought in hospitality teaching and learning in Sungai Puteri community college is high and so this study is very beneficial to institution to in upgrading the teaching and learning process further research is important is very important and useful to assist hospitality operation unit of Sungai Petani community college, especially in further improving the quality of teaching and learning and students. It is hoped that the finding of this study will help the hospitality operation unit in creating an interactive teaching and learning environment, interactive and uh, interesting teaching aid, and increase the level of using the latest technology in the teaching and learning process to Sungai Petani community college students so that students not being left behind in this new era. The researcher also suggests that this thought can be used to improve the to facilitate the teaching and learning process. And the researcher also suggests that the use of thought to be introduced uh, in the to the institution that offer the same program to improve the process and environment of teaching and learning, as well as further studies should be conducted to see the compatibility of the research finding when using uh, other college 
respondent. Uh, that's all. Thank you.